What if when you got ill, the doctor could virtually test medicine to find the best cure for your body before even prescribing you an antibiotic with a name you can't pronounce? Or a surgeon could virtually practice an operation before actually performing it? Sounds like something that would happen in the distant future, doesn't it? But what if I told you that this is already happening today? Let's find out how. Hello again. You're probably wondering why we're here. So first things first, my name is Sean, and we're here to talk about virtual twins in healthcare. Now, you may understand all things virtual, and you may know what a twin is, but what happens when we bring the two together? But before we find out, let's clear one thing up. No, we do not make airplanes. At Dassault System, we provide people with virtual universes to imagine and develop things like 3D product design, simulation, manufacturing, and to top it all off, we are French. So, let's cut to the chase. What are virtual twins and how are they impacting the healthcare industry and even our own lives? A virtual twin is, it's like, um, well, actually I don't know, but I do know someone who does and she should be joining us any minute now. she's not here, Gary. Oh, oh, I have to call her, right. <laughs> Hi, Claire, thanks for joining us. Hi, Sean, what a pleasure to be with you today. So Claire, let's just imagine that I have no idea what a virtual twin is. Could you explain it to me like I'm an eight-year-old? Of course, no problem. It is a virtual copy of a physical object. Actually, the twin is not important for what it is, but for what it does. What I mean by this is that the twin has to encompass enough knowledge about the behavior of the object so that you can actually simulate, run what we call what-if scenarios. Let me take a concrete example that I will borrow from the car industry. Did you know that 95% of the crash tests are actually run on virtual twins? You take the virtual twin of a car and crash it against the virtual twin of a wall. So virtual twins started with cars and aircraft, but now they are moving into the field of healthcare. Oh wow, that's quite the evolution. Could you tell me about that transition? Sure. Well, let me start with telling you why it matters. It's all about helping patients live a healthier life. Now to do that, virtual twins are key. Imagine, as a patient or as a doctor, being able to visualize, understand, test and predict what cannot be seen, from the way drugs affect a disease to the outcome of a surgical intervention before it actually happens. With that, we can massively improve the way patients are treated and help them live a better life. We've got a question for you. Now that you've told us about what the virtual twin is, can you put it into context in a real life situation? Absolutely. The use of virtual twins is pioneered uh, by uh, some hospitals, for example, the Boston Children's Hospital and Dr. Hoganson. In their context, they would operate uh, children with congenital heart diseases and use our virtual twin of the heart as a way to simulate different ways of do doing the, inter the procedure and identify the best one in order to restore uh, blood pumping through the heart. And another great uh, feedback that we've had is that Dr. Hoganson uses the virtual twin of the heart as a way to explain to parents and to children what the intervention is going to be about. Thank you for your insight, Claire. It's incredible how far you've come. Anytime, Sean. Thank you for having me. Well, guys, now that you know what a virtual twin is and how it relates to healthcare, I have a surprise for you. We've been hard at work branching out into new areas and we have two more episodes in store for you. In our next episode, we'll be talking about the heart-stopping Living Heart Project. And in the third, we'll explore the multifaceted Prism Project, which is about more than just virtual twins of humans. So if you want to find out how we 3D modeled a complete virtual twin of the human heart, meet our guest speakers. And of course, if you want to see me again. Click on the link somewhere on the screen. Um, I don't know how this works. <laughs> well, this was great. Bye, guys. Ah, I can finally drink my tea.
They never let me. They're like, oh, doesn't fit the aesthetic of the set. Put my days, Sean. Put that away. Okay, okay. 